Hi guys, and uh, welcome to the next part of the um, the SD card preparation tutorial. Um, this uh, this part of the tutorial is completely optional um, because you can use you can use the uh, the image straight onto an SD card. Um, the disadvantage to that is is that you're only going to get um, get the amount of free space that's on that image. So if you write a two gig image to a uh, eight gig SD card, you're still going to only have like the space that's left on the two gig image. Um, so if you want more space, then it's better to resize um, the SD card. Um, there's one small problem with that, and that is that you cannot do it from Windows because um, you need to resize Linux file systems. Um, so um, we're going to be using a tool called Gparted. Um, and what that is, is it's actually a live CD or USB. So you're either going to have to um, write it to a USB stick or write it to a CD. And then you're going to boot that, um, boot your computer using that CD or USB. Um, and to be honest, I can't really show you how to do that because it's specific for every PC. Um I can show you how to put, how to put the image onto a uh, onto a CD, um, but there's there's quite comprehensive instructions on here to be honest. Um, but I'm going to go at the CD method because that's that's the method that um, that most people are going to going to be able to go with. I think. Um, so uh, to install it on a live CD, you're going to have to download the ISO and burn it as an image to the CD. Um, so we're going to go download stable releases. Right, okay, let's go into Gparted Live Stable. All right, that lays versions wrong. Um, so you're going to want the Gparted Live um, 0.12.2. Um, and then if we wait for this, we'll get a uh, we'll get a download. Um, so I'm just going to save that. Um, save that to my desktop, um, and that'll take a couple of minutes um, to download. Um, so while you're doing that, while that's downloading, um, you're going to need a tool to write that ISO file to a CD. Um, so if you've not got a, um, you're going to need like a blank CD or a blank DVD and also some software to write it. So I'm going to use um, something called ImageBurn um, and it's dead easy to install. Um, I think it's really good. So um, you can just get that by um, going to imageburn.com and, uh, and choosing the download option and then just picking one of those mirrors there. Um, but I've already, I've already got it installed um, because I use it, I use it quite a lot of the time. Um, so... While that's downloading, if you uh, if you want to go and like go and dig out a CD or or something like that to uh, to write it on, or alternatively you can follow instructions on um, on how to put it onto a USB. And um, there's probably other tutorials on how to do that. Um, I don't really have the time to do to do a tutorial for both. Um, and I've actually already got a. Um, already got a G parted C D so I'm gonna so I'm gonna cancel that download because I don't actually need it. Um so just quickly if you wanted to um if you wanted to I'll just give us a sec I need to uh, connect to my other computer anyway um with my C D burner in. Uh, right so if you're um if you're going to be burning a CD, then image burn is dead easy to use. Um, you're basically just going to pick a right image file to disk. Use this to uh, select your file. Choose the disk drive that you want to write it to, and then click that button, and it will uh, it will go ahead and write the CD. Um, so. Once you've uh, once you've wrote your CD, you're gonna then shut down um, shut down your Windows computer, um, and then you're gonna you're gonna have to um, load it up with the CD. 
and you're just going to choose Gparted Live default settings. Um, press enter on that. Okay, and then you're going to see some uh, some Linux stuff, but you don't need to pay attention to that. Um, and again, you need to be uh, you need to be pretty careful when you're doing this because again, if you pick the wrong uh, if you pick the wrong device, then you can end up uh, end up wrecking wrecking your computer and possibly having to um, reinstall Windows or something like that. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna um, go for all the defaults. So just press Enter. Um, I'm just gonna press Enter again. Enter again. Okay, and then uh, and then what we'll get is a pretty friendly um, user interface. So we've got a mouse that we can move, uh, and we get G parted, which I'm just gonna full screen. Okay, so you're going to go in here and pick the uh, pick the device that you want, and it's gonna be. Um, it's going to be the one. It's going to look like this. It's going to have um, a small FAT32 partition at the start. Uh, as you can see, the size is about 75 meg, and then you've got a um, you've got an X4 partition, which is uh, which has got like all your Linux files on, and then you've also got a uh, a Linux swap as well. Um, and then you can see I've well I've got quite a lot of unallocated space. And um, basically, the tool's pretty easy to use. Um, you're just going to choose resize, move, and um, I'm going to drag the swap to the end, um, and then click resize, move, and it doesn't actually apply anything until you. Um, yeah, that's fine. It might cause us our boot to fail, um, but yeah, that's fine. We just move in swap. Um, then I'm going to resize the. Uh, the like Linux partition, and this is the important bit, really. Um, so you resize and move that, and now you can see we've got FAT32, then a large um, X4 partition, which is what um, what Linux is going to be using, and then a, uh, the Linux swaps being moved to the end, um, and then you're just going to click Apply. Uh, it says you might lose data. Um, but um, and then we just literally uh, we just have to wait a bit, wait for this to finish, and then uh, and then once that's finished, you've successfully resized your SD card to the uh, to the full capacity, and you've got like quite a lot of free space on your SD card for like whatever files you want to uh, you want to put on there. So if you want to put on like a, a film or something like that, if you're going to be using it as a media center. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Just uh, just make sure make sure you're uh, you're really careful about double checking um, what device you're making the changes to. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of warnings on that, but it should be fine. Um, so I'm going to close that, and uh, and that's it now. That'll uh, that'll reload, and then as you'll see, the changes have been made. Um, so there we go. We've got our eight gig SD card that's been uh, successfully resized, um, and yeah, that'll that that sh uh, should work fine. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been uh, hope this has been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what you would like uh, what you'd like me to cover when I get my uh, when I get a Raspberry Pi. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Uh, I'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye.